Okay, this is the way it is. Chart fourteen nine has this long list of verbs that I follow. Verbs like enjoy, you know, as in I enjoy studying English grammar. And chart fourteen ten has this long list of verbs that I follow. Verbs like need. I need to study English grammar. And in those two long lists, there are verbs that can be followed either by me. Olga began studying English grammar, or by me. Olga began to study English grammar. Now, so what are you, the learner, supposed to do with these long lists? Hmm, memorize them? Oh, not possible. Not recommended that you even try. Ignore them? Well, certainly if you want. Look through them and see what you can find out. Sure, good idea. Or just use them for reference. That's right. The verbs in these lists are common and useful. The exercises will give you practice with them, and if you have questions about them, well, you can refer to the two lists in charts fourteen nine and fourteen ten.、Uh, sorry, we can't be more helpful. Practice is what really helps. Just know that as you gain experience with English, your、uh, ear will begin to tell you whether to use a gerund or an infinitive, and you'll do it without a moment's thought.